children of the most high you are all welcome to this glorious segment once again of the rhapsody of realities and today on the 29th of may our man of god lets us know that we are like god in his glorified state hallelujah our theme scripture is taken from the book of first john chapter 3 verse 2 and it writes beloved now are we the sons of god and it did not yet appear what we shall be but we know that when he shall appear we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is when you read this epistle of john you have to be careful to read everything otherwise you may conclude that there are contradictions for example in our opening verse the epistle says it doth not yet appear what we shall be but we know that when he shall appear we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is this therefore means we are not yet like him but when you go right to the next chapter the bible says herein is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because as he is so are we in this world and this is clearly seen in first john chapter 4 verse 17 I thought we just read that we shall be like him later when he appears. But here, it says we are like him in this world now. We are just as he is. Is this a contradiction? No, it is not. The first one is about your appearance, your outward appearance. Look at it again. Beloved, now are we the sons of God. We are already the sons of God in our spirits. The Bible says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And that's in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. That recreation took place in your spirit when you were born again. You were born of the Word of God and with the life of God. So, he says, Now are we the sons of God. Now, your spirit is like him, but your physical appearance is not like him yet. So when it says, it did not appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is, he is referring to the rapture, where in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, we shall be changed. We will be clothed with our celestial bodies and we shall be like him in appearance glory to god observe that first john chapter 4 verse 17 says as he is not as he was we are like him now not as he was before his death when he was raised from the dead we were raised together with him and we came alive with a new kind of life the resurrection life so as he is now the glorified son of god so are we in this world hallelujah what a privilege what a privilege the bible says god predestined us to be conformed to the image of his son glorious things were on his mind about us praise god wherever you are you can affirm this confession after me i am born of god and have his nature of righteousness in my spirit every fiber of my being every bone of my body every cell of my blood is replete with God as Jesus is in his glory and righteousness so am I Blessed be God. Pastor Chris leaves for you some wonderful scriptures that you can study further in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verses 6 to 7 and Colossians chapter 3 verse 4. Blessed be God. Learn more about this life you've received in Christ when you subscribe to this channel. And if you've already been practicing it, take what you have learned and put it to work in your world. 
Join us in reaching the nations of the world with our man of God simply by sponsoring, enlisting and engaging others and distributing this daily devotional. For more information on how you can take part, kindly visit www.smiles.tniglobal.org or get in touch with our Translators Network International team by emailing us at tnimsia at gmail.com. God bless you. received salvation if you've never received Christ into your heart if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about this is your moment say these words say oh Lord God I believe in Jesus Christ the Son of God I believe he died to save me I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him I receive eternal life into my heart into my spirit thank you Lord for saving my soul I have eternal life now I'm a child of God now I am born again thank you Lord if you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris congratulations welcome to the family of God Rhapsody of realities Giving you life for meaning Every day My life made perfect With Rhapsody